Hello and welcome to the first episode of Lone Echo. I've never started this one before, but let's give it a shot. Hera, open a new voice log entry. Acknowledged. Recording. Okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes, personal log entry for 7 of October 21, 26. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving Saturn behind and making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. Anyway, all mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thruster that Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rhodes. Hi. Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Perfect. Jack, are you with me? Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. One moment. I'm playing. Please press the hollow button with your One ears. moment. Shh. Shh. The directors have been pushing to make fully automated units, but so it's mine the government's still priority. Your echo unit is a perfect subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one week from Jack? Sorry, I have to go. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? Hmm? You were talking to command. Oh, yeah. Sorry you had to hear that. I... Hang on, are you... Are you stuck in there? My diagnostic program crashed. That's never happened before. The pod's release procedures may have been affected. Work that one out on your own, did you? I failed to see how sarcasm is going to help. Sorry, can't help it. Part of my wily British charm. Weren't you born in space? You want out of there or not? Yes. You're all set. Listen, about my conversation with command, how much did you overhear? Enough. I mean... I heard enough to know I'm no longer going with you to Ceres. Seems you've earned yourself a promotion. The directors want you to take over my duties as station commander. You'll be in charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just... hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up? I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Except... I'm sorry, Jack. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. Your swear count is not increased for nearly 10 hours. Congratulations. Oh, quit playing with that damn thing. I mean, shit. Never mind. Mm. Shit. 
Ass. Damn. Shit. Ass. You seem upset. You're getting way too good at reading human responses, you know that. Well, I have had a few years of practice. Yeah. It shows. Did you say you wanted me to activate the bridge? That I did. Towards the forward center console. Could you please activate the bridge? Transitioning to daytime cycle. I'm really going to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me a moment to soak in this view. Take your time. Command splitting us up. It... it bothers you. I just... thought you'd be coming with me, is all. No assignment is ever permanent. I would think you'd know that better than anyone. Well, that's certainly true. It is entirely possible that we will work together again sometime in the future. Maybe. Here's hoping. Let's get started on that checklist. You sure? There's no rush. It is our last week, after all. You're right. We can wait and take in the view. For a little while, at least. Yes, for a little while. We do have an especially striking view of Saturn this morning. Almost like it's showing off. Do you happen to know what gives the planet its unique color? I do not. Please, tell me. Ammonia crystals in the upper atmosphere react with... You're just humoring me, aren't you? I know. So, Jack. I suppose congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days you'll be Captain Jack. So, congratulations Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo Unit, I hold no official rank. So technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I'm merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no... What was that? Jack, did you feel that? What the hell? P please tell me you can see that. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. What the... Jack, are you alright? A-okay. Never mind me, are you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Whatever that was, it looks to only have affected the electronics. Are you sure you're okay? Minor glitches, no permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Hera, initiate broad spectrum scan. Hera, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. Awaiting input.
Saturn orbital zone beta. Orbital mining facility. Designation, Kronos 2. Central mining station. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How the hell did we... Oh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, you little bugger? Ah, here we are. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this CubeSat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. All set? Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, Something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well, problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. I, I always right, do. Then. Onto the real problems. What do you think? What's next? Hera, status update on your scan of the anomaly. Scan currently 3% complete. 3%? What's the problem? The sensor network is attempting to perform a full spectrum scan of an unknown entity. It might take a while. Lovely. Well, in the meantime, we've got three Tier 1 malfunctions that need our attention. What do you say we get started on those repairs? Good idea. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. I saw that. Of course you'd try that on me. Third time's the charm, I suppose. I'm still not certain how these are used. These are all items I have given to Liv. She appears to have kept them in excellent condition. Ready when you are. Come on then. Let's go sort out those malfunctions. Not the best way to start our last week. I don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. We've also never had an unidentified spatial anomaly suddenly appear directly off our port bow. It's a day of firsts, really. You do realize it's possible we just made a groundbreaking scientific discovery. Well, let's not go writing our Nobel acceptance speeches just yet. Well, at least not until we're certain the station isn't going to fall apart. An encrypted audio file. Curious. When the anomaly scrambled the CubeSat, it inadvertently connected them to a secure Atlas Corporation network. If I scan more of them, I may be able to crack the encryption. 